Ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy to say that the Accord is officially back. We've already done body work on the hood, driver's side fender, which is up here, the door, A pillar, rear quarter. And now it's time to start moving on to the back. We're gonna do the whole trunk and the bumper, baby. Let's go. Watch how violent this opens because like we took all the lights off this extra piece here. So there's no weight on it. It just fucking. So my plan right now is to try to take the trunk lid off and body work it on a table I have out there because right now we're doing the clutch on my brother's car and we got the engine and trans out. So I don't really want to have to move everything just to get it out. And I don't want to do it in here and dust this whole place up. All right, I got all the little clips undone from this. I just got to try to pull the harness through. Oh, I got this one still right here. This one's still clipped in there. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to unbolt the latch too because I still got that hooked up right there and I can't pull the harness out and it's kind of hard to unplug that shit. We're gonna have to undo the this wire here, which is when you pull on the trunk, it opens it. So we'll have to undo it. It looks pretty much like, so this one looks like the hood one and then this is like the one you would have on your door when you pull on the lever. This is pretty much what you have on your door. All right, guys, I got the latch off of here. That's what it looks like. So now I should be able to probably start pulling this through again. All right, guys, I got the whole trunk lid stripped down fully all the way. I even took these little nubs off from the license plate that I was having trouble with. I just had to reach in here with like a screwdriver and pry it off. But now I got this eraser wheel. And for those of you who don't know what an eraser wheel is, it helps take off like this sticky shit from decals or the, or like stickers that you might have. I'm gonna use it on this one right here. It's for the VIN. But yeah, since we're doing a complete color change, I'm gonna be sanding and painting the inside of that too. So we need to get rid of that. Look at that. That shit is crazy. You don't have to fucking sit there like a goddamn slave stroking away trying to take that shit off. You know what I'm saying? All right, now I can take these off. All right, I got the lid set up on the table. I need to go ahead and wash it because it's all dusty from which it's just been sitting around. It's obviously never been washed in here. But uh, this side should be easy because I'm just gonna be using the maroon scuff pad, which is equal to about like a 400 grit. So I just need to scuff it down. That way we can get it ready for the primer and the sealer and shit. All right, now after quite a bit of scrubbing, she looks a lot better. I went ahead and did the outside too. Might as well, got her all scrubbed down. But now I'm gonna start here with this maroon scuff pad. Start scrubbing my life away. I'm a quarter of the way through on the bottom. Just wanted to show you guys the difference. Man, that took about a good half hour. Getting up in here and all that, it just takes a minute. All right, guys, after literally hours of scrubbing this with the maroon scuff pad, the whole inside of the trunk lid is done. I'm going to move on to this outside. This is kind of still the inside of the outside because there's another piece that goes over here. But regardless, I want to paint this because I don't want any of the maroon to be peeking through. And just like that, it took about a total of six or seven hours to fully do this part here and then the inside of the trunk lid and now i got the drill set up with the eraser wheel so i could start taking off all this like sticky shit i brought out the expo so i could start marking out the dents that i need to repair that way i can visualize them before we sand down and i lose where they're at all right so i pretty much have three spots where we're gonna have to do body work so one's right here I don't know if you can see it very good on camera, but it has like a slight crease right here, this line right here. And then running my hand across, I got something right here and then right here. But yeah, other than those three spots right there, boom, boom, boom. I think we're good. We'll just have to hit it all with the 180 grit. That way we could lay the filler on there. So I've had a change of plans. I'm gonna start taking off the bumper and working on the inside of the rear end here because I think it's gonna be easier to just do that. And then once I'm done with that, bolting up the trunk lid to the car again. So I'm just gonna take care of this stuff and then bolt it up and finish off the rear end with the trunk lid bodywork. All right, well, I don't know why they're not wanting to come out, but I'm just gonna fucking take the chisel and hammer and break these fucking things off instead of spending too much time on them. Cause I could always just order new ones and just replace them anyway and 
have them look even better. I don't know if like this is stock right here or if they did that, but that's pretty nice. Now we can get that off of there. And I can do the same thing over here. There we go, baby. That's years and years worth of webs and shit and dirt all up in there. But yeah, I'm gonna have to take a brush now, clean it up with some water and fucking dish soap. It's been working really good. All right, well, there she is. That back brace is off. I also went ahead and took the exhaust off. That way it wouldn't get wet and all dusty once I start sanding and shit. But now what I'm gonna do is, fuck, I have to take all these like accessory things off, like these mounting brackets here, probably all these rubber like grommet pieces that keep the water out, all these, these here, these clips. That way we can get as best finish as we can, I mean, it's all in the details, man. Actually, you know what? It's probably a better idea if I power wash and clean before I take all those grommets and shit off. That way water doesn't get in there. Man, that looks so much better. I got all the holes taped off where all the grommets were. I went and redid the lights. They're all, everything's taped from the back. So everything's properly taped now. Got everything sealed back up around here. This little vent box over here. So now we're fully ready to start sanding. And probably, I'm assuming this is gonna take like about three hours to do. All right, and after about another hour, hour and a half, the full rear end is done. I got these spots over here. Actually, I gotta do the inside little lip here, and then I gotta clean this up here. But nevertheless, I'm happy about this, man. This was so much work. I was sweating balls out here, but yeah, now time to keep moving, man. I'm honestly not even gonna do too much. I'm just gonna take some glass cleaner and spray this shit instead of Bringing out the hose and all that. Spreading a little bit all around. Is there... Man, that's a lot of scrubbing. God damn, but it's finally done. We got all in here done. Got these both done got all the inside perimeter and all down here looks really good i just gotta wash it off to get all the fucking dust off of there but now we can officially move on to the rear bumper all right guys i got the bumper all cleaned off and now before i start sanding i got something to show you guys man i have had this for a few months but now i finally get to show you it's a rear bumper light that's gonna go right here oem stanley made in japan baby okay i'm pretty happy with how it turned out i marked from here two and a quarter down on each side and then just drew the line around there and then i drew the second line where i want to cut first and then creep up from there
All right, guys, I think I got enough to where I can probably push this through now. Ah. There you go. Hell yeah. Now I just need to switch the tip to like the sanding one on there so I could clean up these edges, make them like round, and then we'll test fit it. Ooh, look at that shit, boy. That looks so good. Now once those other lights are in there and they're all turned on, man, that's gonna look good. I'm so happy that I did that shit, my God. But now that that's done, I can take the light back off and we can start sanding and body work in the bumper, baby. The bumper is in good condition. I'm just gonna hit it with the DA and some 320 grit. And then I'll go back to all these little spots here where I have like little minor dents and like scuffs and shit where I can use some flexible body filler that I bought. Let me show you guys what it is. It's this USC Garage Flexible Glaze. It's for plastics and bumpers. And this has like flexible additives in it, which will allow it not to crack once it cures and shit. So yeah, I'm gonna hit it with a 320 and then we'll finish it off with a little bit of body work. All right, guys, well, after a lot of sanding, I got it all sanded down with 320. And then here where it looks like a little par four or five, I used a 180 because this is where I'm going to lay some of that flexible body filler. I got a pretty good sized little dent here, and then I want to fill in all these little spots. So I'm probably going to lay a coat from here all the way past out here. And then we'll just body work that and then it should be good to go. Alright, the filler's dry and ready to go. I'm gonna start off with 180 on the DA just to knock down the edges real quick. And then I'm gonna switch to 180 on the block and do it by hand. And then I'll put the 180 on the DA to smooth out the hand scratch because the DA is smoother than the hand. And then after that, I'll put the 320 to remove the 180 scratch. All right, guys, well, I'm pretty happy with the filler. Actually, it's pretty easy to work with, man. But now I have still some low spots that I'm gonna have to do another layer on. Mainly here, over here is good now on these parts. And then this one over here. Now I just gotta hit that with the 320. But yeah, I need to do another layer here first. All right, guys, well, there she is. The bumper is fully body worked and sanded down with 320. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. The body filler really only took where it needed and the rest of it is super smooth. I'm glad I did that. That light is gonna look so fucking good, man. Now we can move on to the trunk lid. All right, guys, I got the trunk lid ready to go. I'm gonna hit it first with the 180 grit on the D8. I'm hoping the paint is still good. That way I don't have to take it all to bare metal, but if I have to, then oh well. Look how clear you can see how beat it is. I think it got caught in some hail. Look at all these spots. Like this is a big one and all these little spots are hail, man. So yeah, I'm gonna do a whole coat along the whole top of the lid. And then I just need to do a little more sanding over here. And then we got the spot here, you can see that. And then we got another one here and then right here. All right guys, now's the real test to see if this paint is still in good shape, man. When I wipe this, we shouldn't see any of those cracks like we used to. God, it looks good though. Oh, that makes me so happy. I got a little thing right here. I'm gonna have to go down to bare metal there. Oh yeah, that's gonna save so much time. There's no cracks in the paint, so we'll just be able to lay the filler right over it.
all right guys i am almost done with the trunk lid all i have is these four spots left where i had like slightly bigger dimples that needed to just be filled in with a little bit of glaze and i think the trunk lid should be good it's been a lot of fucking sanding and a lot of work but man it's gonna turn out so good i'm not saying it's like a hundred percent still even with the body work it's probably like around i don't know mid 90s but with the epoxy primer that i'm gonna spray over this and with the 2k high build primer it should help us get even closer to the 100 percent and in case you guys have wanted to know or missed it throughout the video this is the filler i'm using the rage optex or the optex rage and then this is the one the flexible one for the bumpers usc garage and then this is the glaze that i'm using right now gold glaze from upol man look at that view holy shit that was so much work man i'm glad i did it though because it's one step closer to where we need to be and we also did a modification to the bumper which is going to turn out so fucking good man i estimated the time and this is about 15 or 16 hours of total fucking man hours man and here's the final piece that we just got done working on as you can see a lot of the filler just comes right off it literally just took where it needed to a lot of the little dents that we had just kind of came out from just sanding really and then the ones that are left like these super little fucking minor ones the epoxy primer and then the 2k high build primer i think is going to help take care of that but with that being said we're pretty much just going to start working on this other side right away so we will see you in the next one peace